Today I want to talk about the Lee Nelson number 66 breathing tool. The tool itself is shaped like a regular spoke shave. It includes um, seven double-sided blades of uh, hardened steel and uh, on each side you have a different shape you can use. There's also one blade for for grooves and there are also two spare blades uh, made of unhardened steel to file your own shapes into it. The tool also comes with two different uh, parallel guides, a straight one and also a curved one. Then the blade is held by this screw and uh, you just put the blade in like this. Uh, due to the V-shape form, you don't have to remove the blade or the parallel guide. Oh, it's a quite a tight screw. Wait a second. Because you can simply move the parallel guide on the other side of the blade without interfering it and you can change um, if the the grain direction on the on the board you uh, want to work with changes then you don't have to turn it around you just simply move the parallel guide and turn the tool around and work like this um, It's actually a quite useful tool, but it, there is also some learning curve involved. I want to to demonstrate. Um, I have this piece of of spalted tiger maple here, and I want to put in some fluting. And uh, let's see. This blade looks actually very nice so I'll take this one I take the straight parallel guide which is almost already in there and uh, here's one one important thing to mention um, you have this this solid plate and uh, you should carefully protrude the blade just a little bit at the beginning not not the whole way just a little bit so that it really just scratches the surface because uh, I hope you can see this because when you try it with the full depth of, uh, for example, a double bead like this, then it's very hard to handle and you risk to to, to skip from your work piece and uh, ruin the whole thing. So, working with such a small piece is a bit awkward because, uh, you know, if I would clamp it like this, then there's no chance to, to work with this big shaped tool. So I used double sided tape. So let's see if this works. Yes, this should work. Just put the camera a little bit aside. And now it's 5D.
and it looks actually quite nice. So let's see. Okay, we can protrude the blade a little bit further. Just tiny little scratches at the beginning. It's also very important that you tighten up this screw very hard because it happened to me that the parallel guide skipped a little bit on my other working piece and uh, work piece and uh, Now on full full depth. And it's actually quite easy. Don't force the tool. It's American hard maple, so this can take a while. <laughs>
what's a bit <coughs> awkward is uh, the beginning of, of, of the piece and the end because on the maybe you can see this let's get it here so you see we have here still some flat spots while the rest of the fluting is all already nice and round so it's a bit awkward to work with such a small piece but you can also work from the other side which I find is a little bit easier to push the tool sounds horrible I know but ah, we're almost there <laughs> and let's try to get this off again. It's actually a very nice tool, beautiful, easy to use, and uh, works quite well, I would say. So, thanks for watching, and see you next time.